The Fracture Tenray event is live. How's it work? What can you earn? And more. So stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? Kevin here once again, and we're going to do a quick overview of everything that's in the Fracture Tenray event. This event allows you to unlock your armor core for the Yoroi armor set. So how do events work in Halo Infinite? Well, basically you have two sets of challenges. You have your event challenges marked in orange right here and your regular challenges as well. If once you unlock your challenges for the event, it will give you event battle pass progression. This event also brings back the fan favorite Fiesta mode into Halo Infinite. So we have an extra little goodie to play around as well, which has some challenges tied to it as well. You can see my current weekly challenges right here, which actually provide a good amount of XP, 300 for completing it, which is kill enemies in Fiesta matches. That's pretty easy. Complete two Fiesta matches. We can check out our upcoming challenges as well, which is earn assist in Fiesta, win PVP matches in Fiesta, stop an enemy killing spree in Fiesta, and just complete four matches as well. And also earn a killing spree within Fiesta, which can be a little tricky, but I think it's possible. As this Fracture Tenray event will only last throughout this week. And this event will have six other times that will come out throughout the entirety of season one, since season one will last until May, with week two showing up in January, week three showing up in February, and so on. Now this battle pass is very interesting for this event as, as there's a lot of like double XP and not a whole lot of armor customization. Let me show you. So at level five is when you unlock the Yoroi armor set right here for the armor core. A lot of challenge swaps, a lot of double XP, some good amount of emblem stuff here, which actually look pretty awesome, but not gonna lie. But if you progress through, you can see there's another armor piece. Everything else is just kind of double XP. You can challenge swap another shoulder pad right there. Progress through. You have actually a pretty sweet coating for your weapons as well which and once I unlock that I might have to rock it for sure this is at level 20 this is a 30 tier battle pass as well you can see there's another code in here at 24 helmet at 25 some more double xp challenge swaps another coding at 28 for it looks like the battle rifle and you have a helmet attachment at 29 which looks pretty freaking awesome as well as level 30 finishing off with a nice belt looking thing and just by logging into this event you do unlock the fractures looking for an id backdrop as well I will be honest with you guys, I was kind of expecting a bit more with this battle pass, a little bit more in the way of like armor and customization, but it seems like most of it is actually just ways to get double XP and challenge swaps, which double XP is absolutely needed when it comes to progressing through this battle pass right now as it stands. Also a little disappointing how we that armor set that we saw within all the trailers and stuff like that isn't something you can earn in game, but I don't even see it in the shop either, which obviously is something within the shop could certainly change around right here. We have this Chun Mage, as if that's how you pronounce it correctly, armor set right here. We give you a cool pose. It gives you an armor coating as well for the Yo Roy. You have a different helmet, helmet attachment. You also get a, a cool looking visor on top of that, but I can't find this helmet in particular like anywhere on this battle pass. Gives you a chest piece and cool shoulders as well, and also some knee pads on top of that, all for 20 bucks. But this looks to be something you can progress along with your regular battle pass as well. Plus all these challenges don't seem to be too challenging in a way. They all kind of seem to be more like play the game kind of challenges for you to get your unlocks. And then we have the Perilous Warrior as the Willow T for the weekly unlock here. But yeah, let me know what you think about the battle pass here. Let me know what you think about the Fracture event of Fiesta coming back into Halo Infinite. So thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out.